Um, you can get some kind of cool effects with uh, water and heat. Now it's also going to make it pretty brittle, so be careful. You gotta be find a the happy medium. If I was making a perfect replica of a leaf in leather, I don't think I would bevel the uh, the flared out parts like that. But I think because of how it af is affected with the dye and stain, it just makes it pop really nice. So I wasn't really too worried about it. Now I'm just smoothing everything out. I don't want to have any of those crisp edges. I think it's already looking pretty cool and the distortion at the tip just adds to that look. This is some orange Angelus leather dye that I've had kicking around that I haven't been able to use recently, so I'm doing that, and then just a regular Feebing's green. So that's all the dyeing we really have to do to the leaves. With the knotwork pieces, I'm going to paint with dyes, which is a little tedious, but in the end it gives a good result. So you're just loading your brush with dye, making